Hey there, my name is Arjoita Roy, Technical Support Manager at Nutanix. In this video, we'll be talking about VM host affinity policies on Nutanix. As an administrator of a Nutanix AHV cluster, we can create VM host affinity policies for VMs running on the cluster. By defining these policies, we can control the placement of VMs on AHV hosts within the cluster. In PRISM Central, we can define category-based VM host affinity policies where a set of VMs can be affined to run only on a particular set of hosts. Users can manage affinities for more than one VM using our category-based affinity policies. The policy checks and enforces where a VM can be hosted when we start or migrate the VM. If there is insufficient space available on any of the affined hosts, the VM fails to start because host affinities are hard enforced. Over here on PRISM, we have three VMs created, Affinities VM 1, 2 and 3 to test out the VM host affinity feature. Let's go to the main menu, scroll down to Administration, click on Categories. For the purpose of this test, we have created the category host affinity test with the values hosts and VMs as its entities. Now we will be creating the affinity policies for our category. To do so, let's go back to the main menu and click on VMs, policies, affinity policies and click on create affinity policy. We are naming our policy host affinity policy and we are selecting our categories. For the VM category, let's select host affinity test VMs and for the host category, we are going to select host affinity test hosts. Click on create. Okay, now let's wait for the VM compliance status to be compliant. So let's click on the policy. And as you can see that the compliance status shows at 100% compliance. Let's find out how the cluster behaves when compliance is broken. We have a VM here that has been assigned 25 gigabytes of memory and has been added to our category host affinity test. This category only consists of one host at this point in time. Let's go back to the main menu. Scroll down to Administration, Categories and look up our category. As we can see, for the purpose of this test, we have removed all hosts from the category except one. Now, let's go back to our VMs and power off Affinities VM3. Click on Actions, Power Off. Let's wait for the VM to be powered off. Okay, now that the VM is powered off, let's increase the memory assigned to it up to 16 gigabytes. Let's click on the VM, Actions, Update, increase the memory to 16 gigabytes, click on Next, Next. Okay, now that the memory has been increased to 16 gigabytes, we'll remove it from our category so that it's not in our policy. To do so, click on Actions, scroll down to Manage Categories, remove the Host Affinity Test VMs category and click on Save. Okay, now we'll start the 25 gigabytes very large VM on host 1 to fill up the hosts in the affinity policy, ensuring there will not be sufficient room to start a new VM. Click on the very large VM, Actions, Power On. Okay, now that the very large VM has been powered on, let's power on our Affinities VM3. And here we go. 
we can see here that the VM, Affinities VM3, is now running on host 2 that is not part of our category as there is no space left on host 1. Now, let's add the Affinities VM3 to our host affinity test category again. Let's go back to the VMs list. Click on Affinities VM3, Actions, Manage Categories and add it to our host affinity test category again so that it's part of the policy but not on host 1. Let's go to Policy, Affinity Policies, click on our policy. As we can see, the Affinity Policy is now non-compliant and that is because we have added our Affinities VM3 to the Host Affinity Test category, but it's not part of the policy. Now, let's go back to our VMs and we'll power off the very large VM. Click on Actions, Power Off. Once this VM is powered off, we can attempt to reinforce compliance. To do that, we go to Policies, Affinity Policies and click on Reinforce. As expected, the policy becomes compliant again.